more going on up there as opposed to here. What's that noise? It's bats. Oh, my God. <sighs> this bat's literally circling. Oh, don't put the light on. I've gone to the light. Why are we coming in here? What's that noise? Hang on, I'll let Joe go down and then I'll turn the torch. Oh, God, I don't like... I don't... I, oh, Gigi. I just don't like all these dark holes. They're talking. I heard talking, too. I heard somebody talking. Hello? Is there anyone here with us? Should we go up here? Oh, my God. Uh, We've got to walk up there. I don't know that we should walk up there. I'd, I'm worried about getting down. Anybody? Where is everybody? I can't move my legs, they're shaking. Hang on. Oh, I thought I saw movement. Anyone here with us? If we get scared, I'm going to go falling. There's something, there's something. Hello? Hello? Go on, David, ask out. Do you feel uh, anything here? I do feel someone here. I feel this woman here. If there's anyone here, if there are any astral beings present, please make yourself known. If that was you that shook the floor, then shake the floor again. Like it just did it. Did you move, John? Yeah, he did. Uh, uh, right, can you feel that? No. Really? You hardly moved, John. I'm, I'm, I'm watching you. You're watching me. Richard, did you move? My foot, basically, across my legs. I think I moved like that. No. That's no, not it. Really it was a definite like shudder. Well, no, I didn't It was a definite you shudder. Feel it, okay. Ask her to do it again. If that was you, if that was you, could you please do that again? Please shake the floor. Just to let us know you're here. Just change the vibration in any way you can. Be it through light, sound, something physical. What was that that went across? That's a voice. No, there was a light that went across that side of the room. Come on, please. Are you around us? Is there a lady present here? Can you hear my voice? If you can, please give us a sign. She's definitely present. She's saying to me, reconnect me. What does that mean? Oh, really? I think that's a plea to me. Is she saying that to you? Can, can you contact her? It's like she's saying it in the ether. Right. What was that? What was that? Oh, I heard that. Hello? See, the minute you start talking about her. Are you here? Did you shake the floor again twice? Well, you just moved, well, Richard, just moved. Mm -hmm. You took two steps, but... Are you here? That came from that, from the, um... Basically, you know, the, uh, when you get to the edge of the... and you're mm. looking over into the kitchen. <coughs> I, 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 from the same place as before, it sounded yeah. like that. I'll repeat what I said just before that happened. So you heard that in the ether. So could, is there any way you could contact her by perhaps... Um, I suppose you need to have a connection with her first do you, before, you, yeah, you, you... before you can communicate with her. David's dialogue appeared to be with Lady Vaughan, so John Dibley's idea of trying alternative methods was welcome. But if she was receptive, did events elsewhere hint at a less understanding demeanour? Hello, is there anyone here with us? What do you think, girl? Should we make our way back? I think so. Okay. Who wants to take the camera down the stairs? I'll do it. Roger, before we leave this room, 
you, we would be most appreciative if you could do something else. Give us a sign, a noise, a movement in there. Where did, did that come it? from? I heard some name. Where did that it come from in, in that room? It's like a bump. Ask him to do it again, Derek. Roger? Roger Vaughan, is that you? Can you give me an indication again, please? Do you get any feelings over there specifically? I've not, no. no. That door opened then, didn't it? Well, I, I can't say. But was it a jar as it was? No, because I closed it when I came in. Because the reason I looked round before... Yeah. ...because I heard the door go. Could we attribute a series of sounds to Sir Roger Vaughan and had this door's movement signalled his reluctance to communicate further? Rachel, Kath and Joe seek solace from their nervous stay in the castle and join Carl and Stuart in the main bedchamber that's synonymous with a ghostly female. But would Lady Vaughan welcome another interruption? Marianne Vaughan, are you here? Please make a sound. Make a noise. Guys, Joe, yeah. could you take the sorry, I just yeah, think yeah, I'm going to fall over and the camera. I just feel like I'm going like that. Back to the Do you feel sick? Yeah. It's weird, it's a really weird feeling. I don't know if it's just because we I don't know. What was it you saw there? Well, there was a massive light. And it was like a whole vision of something. Yeah. Really big. Yeah, as, as far as we could reach. Yeah, it was. No, that was it. That's Carl doing it. I'm sure. It wasn't. It moved. That wasn't Carl, that. I caught that on camera. Did you see that? It was. No, that was it. That's Carl doing it. I'm sure. It was. No, that was it. That's Carl doing it. Yeah, it was. No, that was it. That's Carl doing it. That wasn't Carl, that. I caught that on camera. Basically, what happened, the, the, the rafters actually lit up three to four times. Um, I knew straight away it couldn't have been your torch, because if it was, it would have lit it up a lot brighter. Well, it was because, because we've already that's, tested That's my it. torch lighting it directly. Yeah, exactly. Like there, it was and it wasn't that colour line. It was actually all right. And if I'm putting the torch through the window, which is where I was putting it... OK, I'll get this back on there. Go on. No. OK, Roach. What's up with you, girl? I feel really sick and dizzy. Come on, you go, go to the kit room and sit down then before you have an accident. Do you want to go to sort of maybe down to the courtroom or...? I'll go down and see how I feel. Let's then. sit down to the courtroom. No, I was fine until I came up here. An elevated vision of white light appeared to signal a sudden downturn in this group's fortunes, with its female members feeling particularly nauseous and oppressed. We now knew that our final few hours in Wales would hold an answer to just who haunts Tritower Court and Castle. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like it. felt ready to launch three separate and simultaneous vigils in the hope of ascertaining who is haunting Tritower Court and where. Once again, we synchronised all of our cameras and sent a foolhardy Richard to contend with the elements